Hey guys, it's Jonathan with One Big Impact. Today we're going to show you how to build a weight bench out of scrap lumber you might have sitting around your yard for free. This is Jonathan, and let's check out what we got here. We got just some random cut off 2x6s and some 2x4s, and we got this big old beast of a 4x6. And I need to wait, make a weight bench because I just got these new weights in, and I need to lift them. So, we're going to make a weight bench, and there's going to be many more items to come out here. This is going to be our new workout area out here. We're going to build some weight equipment, and we're going to show you along the way what we did to do that. So, oh, all right, guys, so project weight bench is underway. I got my saw set up. Some basic tools that you're going to need with this. Do you need a compound miter saw? Absolutely not. You can probably do all this with the handsaw. Is it going to take you forever? Yep. And it's going to suck too. So if you if you know anybody with a compound miter saw, use it. Another one, tape measure, pencil, of course, screws. The screws I'm going to use for these that I use for any 2x4 projects or any 2 inch nominal dimension project is going to be number eight by two and a half inch screws the reason i say that is because a two by four is actually not two inches i'm sure everybody knows that if you don't it's actually an inch and a half by three and a half inches so you're going to want to use two and a half inch screw because it's going to go through that inch and a half then an additional inch into whatever you're screwing into you can pre-drill your holes um i think i'm probably going to just because it's going to split the wood less I don't know that you know this is going to be the most beautiful thing. Um, it's literally out of scrap and crap I have laying around the yard. Um, but I'm broke and I don't have any money, so we're going to show you real quick uh, how exactly to do that. We're going to pop all this into uh, action and see what we come up with. Wish me luck.
Basically what I'm doing here is I have nine boards total. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven boards total. I was wrong. So I got two up here at 48 inches long. One's a two by six, one's a two by four, doesn't really matter. If you ideally if you had two two by sixes, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look for one more two by six. If you have two two by sixes at 48 inches long, you got a four by six at 48 inches long. These uprights, there's four of them total, they're gonna be 18 inches each. These end caps are 20 inches long, and these two top pieces, one at each end, are 12 inches wide. So that's going to be all of your cuts right there. I'm going to post that in the bottom description below so that you know what your cut list is. Um, but I'm going to start pre-drilling and get this show on the road, and then we'll be ready to go to screw in. So. All right, guys, the, the bench works. This is Jonathan with One Big Impact. Clearly, I need to make me some stands for my weight bench so I don't have to be so low. But the idea, you understand, I just wrapped a towel around it. I'm not trying to get this any more expensive and then staple it on. You saw me build it, it was free. Just crap sitting around the yard. You gotta believe. The big thing is that you're exercising, 
and you're going to be putting more effort into getting healthy and having a good life. I'm trying to think of any other things that we have to go on. I think that's about it. Maybe the next video I'll show you how to make some stands because my saw horses, they work great, but unfortunately you have to start real far down. A lot harder to lift weights at like that. Kind of bust my shoulder a little bit. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. If you like our video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Again, you saw it. I took about a half an hour. I think I'm going to fast forward through all that stuff uh, so that you don't have to watch all that. But there are some good tips, so I might leave it alone. And yeah, just let me know how you like the video and what you want to see me build next. Thanks, guys. It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. And remember to spread love, not hate. Peace.